guys, it's Carla Nicole, the coach, the wisdom coach. Hope everybody is doing amazing today. Um, not going to be long, but um, I've just had some, some things that um, I want to address about um, impotency with men. Um, I have like a couple friends that... Um, are, you know, they kind of in the convenience mart or they kind of have a beverage dock and stuff like that where <clears throat> men are driving up and grabbing um, this stay hard, um, different pills and things of that nature um, <clears throat> to try to compensate for their impotency, for their libido being low, for their um, sexual health not being pristine or what they're used to and as a wisdom coach I've had a lot of clients going through this um, there's a huge impact when a man's libido is affected it's a few it affects his quality of life it affects um, his relationship it, it affects a lot of things outside of just the fact that um, the sexual performance isn't where you know um, most of my clients or most men want it to be so I wanted to talk about this really quick not going to be long but I think it's important that I address it because anytime I see something continue to come up about sex about men's health about you know um, quality of life my number one thing is to focus on how can we improve it um, and let me just say this, when you have a, um, a, a libido issue, when it comes to men, a lot of times the libido is low because of circulatory issues. Now, just to give you a little background about me, I've actually used to work in durable medical equipment. Okay. And, um, I don't know if a lot of men are aware, but if you age or if you have impotency issues, your options are fairly limited as far as what you can do to improve number one um, your stamina you can it, it's also limited as to what your options are for for um, just having the the more um, enjoyable sex um, and a lot of things of that nature and so I wanted to kind of bring it out to the forefront because I don't think I think that a lot of men and women believe that that impotency issues happens as we as we age but that's not always the case sometimes you can have impotency issues when you're young it doesn't matter it's not an age thing it's more a um, circulatory thing so with that said I want to touch really quick on the options that is available to some gentlemen that maybe don't know the options are there because I'm understanding that a lot of gentlemen in their uh, leisure time are going to you know to different locations uh, like beverage docks or, or or state liquor stores to grab these stay hard pills to try to improve their libido life and my concern with that is I don't know if they're even thinking that maybe it, it may help you to become erect but is it really just masking the symptom or is it really healing the issue and a lot of times that's where the that's where it seems to be the most um, problem so again um, the options are very limited when a man has um, libido issues so a lot of what that means is sometimes a man um, may only have a medication option and let me just tell you that the medication options available to gentlemen that are suffering from low libido or um, erectile dysfunction is about two to three pills maximum a month. So what that means is your maximum amount of, of, of pills available to you is only two to three and it is considered a controlled substance. So with that said, because you have very few options as far as that is concerned there are also other options you can use now 
There are the creams. There's the, the vacuum. If you're not aware of a vacuum, it is a unit that you can get at a durable medical supplier um, that has the, the penis be inserted into a tube and then it, you pump that, that tube to help the um, erection. Again, this is a very, these are very limited options for you to try to restore the erectile dysfunction. And what happens is where people get so frustrated is that you're talking about a man or a, or, or a gentleman that is in a relationship or, or just has a sexual partner or whatever his arrangement is with his sex. He's very limited to how often he can do it. And now not to mind you, some of those medications aren't always effective. So you, the maximum you might get, like I said, is three to five pills a month because those pills are on a substance. It's considered a controlled substance. So you're not going to get a lot. Again, now we're affecting a man's what? Quality of sex life. And this is where my main concern is because if you don't have a lively um, sex life, it affects not just you, your psycholo psychologically, but it also affects your relationship and everything else outside of that. So I wanted to bring it to your attention that I am a distributor, distributor for Libido Life. And it is an herbal uh, formula to help men that is struggling with... Um, their libido life, their, their sex life, their thrive in this division and department of their life. And if you're interested in it, just inbox me personally and I will give you all the details and information on it. But outside of that, I wanted you guys to know the limited amount of options you have once you become imp impotent or you have erectile dysfunction or you are not going as long. I mean, there's many things in, 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 a, in a man's sexual life, that can happen. Even just, in, in, in it, like I said earlier, it's not always based upon his age. It's also based upon his circulatory system. So again, we have to go back to how does this happen and how can we, we restore it? Um, and, and, and in closing, in closing, I want you to know, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. If it's you or if it's your lover, it still can be, it, you can restore it. It just requires you to be committed to understanding that it can be. And then having patience with your partner and understanding that this is not just a, 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 a man issue, but as a woman that's with a man that may be having these, these setbacks or you know uh, issues going on in the bedroom, there are things you can do as a woman to help to restore his sexual excitement. Because again, it's not always what's going on between the legs, but sometimes it's what's going on between the ears. And so that again is something that could be an issue with um, a man's sex health. But again, I want you to understand, I've been in the medical uh, health for a while. I'll be retiring soon, but I've been in the 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 heartbeat of what really goes on behind the scenes with these men that can't get but three to five pills a month and can you imagine this man is in a relationship and he can't make love to his mate or his lover but three to five times out the month that is very frustrating not just for him but his his significant other as well and we're not talking about this because many men don't want to address the fact that the impotence isn't always just about the fact that your erections are not here it could also mean your premature ejaculations it can mean a lot of things across the board that we're not talking about because we don't we're feeling embarrassed or whatever so in order to restore the erectile issue, it has to require you to be committed to now figuring out well, what is the issue. Is it me and my partner are not in sync? How can we restore sexually if we can't even conversate and have a decent conversation and have a decent relationship? We it, it's hard to it's hard to restore the man's sexual health when he has a lot of issues going on with it not performing. 
So for me, when a gentleman reaches out and says, hey, I'm not, you know, or I'm just not getting hard as I used to, or a man will tell me I am, you know, having issues with lasting stamina or whatever, I have no issue with helping him out. But I have to also explain to him that a lot of times it's what's going on in here. So if you're already anxious and nervous and unsure if your performance is going to be where you desire it to be, and it's not, that also causes the erections not to happen. It also causes for premature ejaculation. All of these things happen because of the mindset first, okay? Restorative sexual health can, be, can happen. Problem is, like I said before, when a man goes through this, they're usually older, elder. Sometimes they're just not, they're just not, you know, the age in the age bracket of where most people think that that is going to be a problem. Because, of course, some men have it earlier than others. Some men have it when they're, you know, in their middle age. You don't know when it's going to happen or when it's going to show up. But what I want you to understand is the options are limited. So you may, like I said, you may be in a very healthy relationship. Problem is in that healthy relationship, you may only be able to uh, restore it, like I said, three to five times a month. And because of that, that's where we dive into men being frustrated with what's my options here? How do I have a good, wholesome, loving relationship, but I can't be intimate with my partner except three to five times out the month? So like I said, I'm Carla Nicole. I'm a wisdom coach. I can help you restore your libido life. But again, it requires you to be connect, committed to understanding that this can be fixed. And your options doesn't have to be limited to three to five pills a month or you having to use a pump or anything like that. Inbox me personally because I can definitely help you. So I'm out of here, guys. I'm glad you guys stopped through. Make sure you share this video. And let's have a conversation about this because a lot of men don't want to talk about it, but it definitely needs to be discussed. And why are you guys going to these to these uh, beverage docks and stuff for, for meds that you don't know is going to work or not? So, I mean, let's just think about that. So again, make sure that you definitely share this video. And we'll talk soon. It's Carla Nicole. I'm signing off. Best kept.